All right, what's up, people, man? I don't know if y'all paying attention to this railroad, this possible railroad strike, and the president stepping in, or not stepping in, but calling on Congress to intervene with the uh, issue facing these uh, union workers. I'm going to stand with the railroad workers. I can get two shits about how it impacts uh, consumer goods and shit and the cost on things and the thoughts of what may happen to the economy if the... Uh, vital system of rail shuts down over the strike but at some point people have to start paying into the interest and the reasoning behind why these workers are looking to go on strike and when looking at it and seeing what what these workers get for time off and this labor intensive type work this is dangerous fucking work and it's probably why you have so many of these people that get hurt and killed on these jobs they work long ass hours. I don't think people pay attention to a lot of what real workers do because people don't look and study industries. Like I said, I got nerd side, so I look at a lot of this shit that goes on in this damn country to try to get an understanding of what happens. I ain't in that, none of that dumb ass conspiracy shit people play into. Um, but I, like I say, I rock with the Biden administration, but I think think he's wrong on this call. But I do understand it as a president. Your job is to overlook and oversee you know, the functions of the economy and things. So I get that point and I get for that call. But I think it's wrong to have these dudes in this intensive type of work, regardless of, oh, they make good pay. No, they make good pay because they work these long fucking hours in this dangerous type of uh, uh, environment, man. Them big, heavy ass trains, uh, it's unforgiving, something goes wrong. And the fact that they get no paid leave, it ain't cool. That ain't cool. And these dudes are looking to get 15 days of paid leave annually. And and that's something that should be given. I didn't know it was that damn bad or extreme. I knew when I worked at the post office back when I worked there that workers weren't given time, weren't given time off. And that was some intensive type work when you worked inside them distribution uh, facilities. That was hard work. Like I say, I'm a Democratic person, man. Not talking about the Democratic Party, but Democratic on people's opinions mattering, uh, uh, vote, you know, vote on all this stuff. And the workers decided to vote down against taking whatever deal they threw out there. They want the 15 days and they should get it. Should none of that Ronald Reagan shit be done, busting up unions and this and that. Because it's the same thing that happened in the 80s. Like I say, a lot of our American people, especially people my age, don't pay attention to history. And don't know shit and they'll listen to misinformation spewed out by fucking idiots who can articulate shit well. That ain't the way it functions. These workers want that 15 days. They should get it. I think all workers in this country should get it. It shouldn't be pent by uh, uh, major industries. Our industry is as vital as the damn rail industry, which is highly protected politically because it's such a vital system. Um, but nah, giving people they goddamn pay time off. Like, but uh, what are other people's opinions? Like I say, I ain't the end all be all. I ain't that type of person. I ain't egotistical at all. I enjoy a conversation on topics like that. What's your opinions on it? Should they should the government step in and and make force these workers into taking whatever what are they offer like a seven day deal? No, I'll give them the 15. But that's all I got. Peace.